All right, I'm back and the next trend we're going to learn is ionization energy. Okay? And if you look at the the good thing about chemistry is they usually develop names based on some some uh, particular characteristic. So, if you look at the first three letters is ion, right? So, ionization has energy has to do with with making ions, okay? Well, what is this ionization energy really? I haven't told you that yet. Well, ionization energy, the definition, I'm going to write definition is, okay? Amount of energy, okay? Amount of energy. I'm never going to quiz you what the definition is because even in my lecture based class that makes no sense okay amount of energy required to remove okay remove a valence electron or electrons from an atom from an atom obviously in its ground state this is probably close to a textbook definition. Now, many of you may wonder, okay, how does it have anything to do with me being a nurse? Well, not every concept can immediately be tied to you being a nurse or a doctor or a surgeon, whatever you are. I don't think I can tie every little thing to saying this is where this is, this is where that is, okay? But here's something I will give you as an example as I finish this concept on how this is important if you are in a medical profession irrespective of where you are on the spectrum in the medical profession. Okay? It could be anybody in the medical profession or you could be like me, like you know person that can that is going to a hospital and I, this is also important for me. All right? So, with that said, um, ionization energy, let us give the rule, okay? ionization energy IE, okay? typically, okay? increases okay as you go from left to right in the periodic table it's opposite to the atomic radius where it decreased this one increases and typically the reason i'm using the word typically is simply because there are exceptions and we don't want to go dwell too far too much into the top to bottom of the periodic table. Okay? This is in direct contrast of what we learnt in our atomic radius concept. Okay? So, let us go ahead and pick some elements okay, in the periodic table. I will just write some, you know, I do not really care. I will just pick some random ones. Okay? All right. These are the elements I have written. Okay? Why don't you pause here? Okay, I don't think I need to teach you um, to show an example and teach you, but I've given you the rule. Okay, take a moment, pause the video, see if you can put them. Always, I'm going to always test you in this fashion. There's no secrets. This is the way I will probably test you on a quiz or a homework card or a test. Is I'll always have you write from the smallest. To the larger simply because being consistent is not such a bad idea it doesn't it has it contributes a lot to learning if you're being consistent okay so these are the elements and i want you to, to put them in the in the uh, right order from smallest to the largest based on the rule i just gave you for ionization energy okay so this is ionization energy okay ionization energy typically decreases from top to bottom and increases from left to right there are exceptions, but go ahead and pause the video and then continue with sol continue looking at my solution. All right, uh, if you have taken the time and solved it. Just like we did for atomic radius, I don't want you to put it in any specific, uh, I don't want you to put it in the fashion right away. I first want you to approach it 
based on the rule, write it like we did and then you can transform it into the correct order. All right, the first two elements are hydrogen and lithium. Well, good thing they are in the same column and so hydrogen should have, hydrogen should have, oh, accidentally chose the eraser. All right, so hydrogen is definitely has a higher ionization energy than lithium because hydrogen is above lithium. And where is calcium in the periodic table? Well, it is below both hydrogen and lithium, so that certainly has to have a lower ionization energy than either of them. And where is magnesium? Well, magnesium is in between lithium and calcium, but it is still below hydrogen, right? Okay. Cal magnesium is between lithium and calcium, which means, well, that is really where it should fall, right? It should fall right here, right? but it is still below lithium and hydrogen, but it is above calcium. So, it is somewhere here. Where is aluminum? Well, aluminum is on the same row as magnesium, but where is aluminum with respect to the reminders? Well, it is above calcium, right? So, it must have more ionization energy than magnesium, but it must have less ionization energy than hydrogen. So, it must be it is still below lithium, right? So, it must be somewhere here. That is where I would like my aluminum to be, right? Because it is still below lithium and hydrogen. All right, what is the last one? AS, where is AS? AS is on the same row as calcium, but it is below the rest. So, AS must have a slightly higher ionization energy than calcium but must be, so it must be here, right? So, let us put it all together in perspective. So, it will be calcium, arsenic, magnesium, aluminum, lithium and hydrogen. It is simple, is not it? I mean, you do have to play with your periodic table. I, I think I like this game, all right? So, um, I do not want to dwell too much more into it. One example is plenty and the same rules that maybe let us do one with ion. It does not hurt. All right. So, this is how you do it for elements in the ground state. So, let us do it for ionization energy, but typically you know it is I am going to keep it very simple here. So, calcium 2 plus, sodium plus 1, aluminum 3 plus, magnesium 2 plus. Let us say I give you these <coughs> and I have you arrange them in the order of smallest to the largest ionization energy. Okay? The rule is pretty simple here. I particularly did not give you more than one with the same charge. So, obviously, um, you just have to apply the rule. So, where is calcium well, with ionization energy? You do want to make sure that um, uh, you know you put it typically we do not do it for ions that is probably why, but I guess you can just apply the rule. So, um, where is calcium with respect to sodium? Well, it is well calcium 2 plus again has got more positive charge. So, that means aluminum 3 plus must be in first in the list. Okay? It is the smallest because it has required more energy to get there. Okay? That is what we are really trying to say. It is already at aluminum 3 plus. So, it is it's definitely now, the problem is between these two folks, calcium and magnesium. Well, they are having both the same charge and calcium is below magnesium. So, calcium should have the lower ionization energy of the two compared to magnesium 2 plus and then finally, sodium 1 plus. Okay? Now, I did say where does this ionization energy is really important to me since I am in the medical profession. Well, if any of you are training specifically be specifically to be a, <coughs> a radiologist, someone that will work or spend a lot of time in the x-ray room, x-raying patients, well, you use an x-ray, okay? An x-ray is a, basically what we are really doing is, is say if this is your, your nucleus and, okay, 
containing protons and neutrons and you have your shells okay and you have electrons right right every time you're removing an electron you need some kind of source okay the source comes in okay source comes in and kicks out an electron okay that's called ionization energies the amount of energy required to remove an electron from a valence orbital from in its ground state or ionized already ionized state if you're going to work with x-ray it's a powerful source okay one of the powerful source that most of us probably encounter it can cause severe tissue damage if you're not protecting yourself against the harmful source of x-ray x-ray ionizes everything that comes in its way okay that is the real phenomenon it ionizes everything that comes across in its way and that's why we wear lead protecting uh, shield and those gowns those fancy looking um, um, uh, wardrobe that they give us when we walk into an x-ray room why is that is because x-ray has got a powerful source and it ionizes everything the word I'm saying is ionizes everything that comes in its way lethal it's like powerful just pulverizes everything that comes in its way and ionizes it okay so if you have calcium in your in your tissues or magnesium in your tissues or other elements in your tissues say you have calcium as calcium in your tissue the x-ray comes in converts it into ca2 plus okay it ionizes everything okay so that's why that's where the power of ionization energy can be related to people in the medical profession okay so it's very important that you understand it and if you have questions feel free to ask me by email okay as i come back with a fresh screen we're going to focus on the last one which is electron negativity we may skip electron affinity because they're closely related we will just um, conclude week two actually i do have to do one more which is our box notation of electronic configuration something we haven't got to uh, it's not any different than a regular electronic configuration it's just we put them in beautiful looking boxes so i'm going to come back refresh my screen with the newer concept of electro negativity and from there we will finish week two with our box configuration of uh, electrons and that will wrap up week two. All right, I'll be back with a fresh screen. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.